Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and it is a beautiful Friday afternoon here in Houston, Texas. And it is about 1.30 in the afternoon and I am headed over to a church preview garage sale. So my friend Jimmy John, shout out to you Jimmy John, told me about this sale. It starts at two o'clock in the afternoon. I've never been to a garage sale that starts at two in the afternoon with a preview where there's a cover charge of $5. So I'm kind of excited and curious to uh, go check out this sale. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Okay, so I have arrived at the church. Now I just need to figure out where I'm going to park at. Proceed to the roof. Got my... Uh, British Surrey speaking to me. <laughs> okay, I got a little lost back there, but now I've found my way. Look at that line. Okay, so look who I ran into. It's Franklin. He's hey. Luna Luna Vintage, right? Luna Luna Vintage. On YouTube. <laughs> Look who else I ran into. It's Joel Dotson from the green room. Say hi. How's it going, everybody? Did you get some good stuff here? Uh, yeah, uh, just found a few pairs of North Face. Ooh, good uh, brand. And uh, then I just stumbled into some new with tags uh, Margaritaville shirts. Oh, These do pretty good. That's definitely a good score. Uh, that's about it so far, but it's really good. All right, good to see you. You too. Okay guys, here real quick is my uh, card of goodies and I'm going to show you everything I got whenever I get back home. Oh my goodness, what a rush! That was so much fun. Um, I don't know about you guys, I know I've said this before, but when I walk into those big church garage sales, I just get overwhelmed and I just don't even know where to go first. But um, a lot of fun, ran into Jimmy John of course and Franklin. Uh, and also, um, who else did I run into? Jimmy John Franklin. Oh, Joel Dodson from the green room. So it was so fun to see those guys and um, everybody getting their hustle on. So I'm excited to get back home and show you guys everything that I picked up. I spent a total of $16 on everything. Um, it really worked out to my advantage because there were two people. One was adding on a calculator and another person was grabbing my stuff telling the other lady what the price was and she was adding it up. And um, she pushed the total and it came to like $50. And she's like, I know that's not right. And I knew that wasn't right. She was like, okay, how about just 16 for everything? I was like, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> so I feel like I got a really good deal. I got a ton of stuff from my antique booth, a bunch of uh, bric-a-brac type stuff. Um, so I'm hoping to uh, show you guys everything whenever I get home. It's getting really close to the time where I need to get the girls off of the bus. So hopefully I can, uh, Get them to be quiet make it while I make a quick little video and show you guys everything I got. Okay guys, I am going to show you my haul directly from the trunk of my car. Um, I'm actually in my garage and the reason I'm doing this is because this stuff uh, in the bin here is probably never even going to come inside my house. It's probably just going to go straight to my antique booth. I just need to take the um, garage sale stickers off and put my uh, tags on it for the antique, antique booth. So, okay. This is the first thing I got. It is an old Crackers tin, premium uh, saltines by Nabisco. And I paid $2 for that. I'll probably put about 10 on this in my booth. The next item is this old Victorian shoe. I paid $2 for this one. Um, at first I thought it was brass, but I don't know. It's probably just like some kind of metal. It might be brass, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll probably put about 15 on this one. I got this stein here for one dollar uh, the bottom says by answers and it's signed 1980 so it looks like uh, some colonial marching not sure what's going on there so that was interesting 
I'll probably put uh, Tim on that. You know, I like to keep things pretty cheap for new stuff, so I'm not hoarding stuff. And I picked up this tin here. It says Farmland Dairy, Grade A Milk, Sun Park Star Root for one dollar. Did I already say that? Anyway, I thought it was really neat. This little tin, vintage tin looking tin you can hang on the wall, and I'll probably put tin on there as well. And I got a tick, so hang on. Sorry, there we go. And this was a really good um, find. Actually, whenever I was waiting in line, um, some guy asked me what it was, and he was like, yeah, that's a good find. So it's a um, Coca-Cola tray, <clears throat> and I guess it's already set up for hanging on the wall if you want to. And I paid $1 for it. So this one, I might have to do a little research. It might be uh, better moved on eBay. I haven't even looked it up yet. And then I got this cute little kitty cat statue here. I've uh, sold these before. They're by Jim Shore. Um, and this one is, what's this one called? Elijah. So that's really cute. And I paid $3. And I got this really neat wood fish here for a dollar. Um, I live on the Gulf Coast. So uh, stuff like this nautical decor does really good in the antique booth. Oh, you see my fat stomach or sad. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay, in here is a booth. This is only a dollar. Um, and it's like made of ceramic. It's got a cute little spur on it. I might actually keep this for myself and um, put it on my patio and put a plant in it. So, yeah. Oh, it might look cute by the front door, too. I don't want you to see all that business. Okay, and then I got, uh, I don't even know how to say that, but it's like a Hebrew uh, Gospels Bible of sorts. Now this book has a really high sales rank, but I'm probably going to um, put it on eBay as well as Amazon. And the prices were pretty high, so I'm going to ask at least $50 for this, and I paid $1. Um, another book, this one goes for about $15. I don't look up the rank. This is something I just picked up. It looked interesting and new. I didn't scan that one. I forgot to. I forgot to scan this too, but it's an audiobook by Jim Butcher. Small favor. That was a dollar. And look at this, it's a brass like Pegasus. It's the cutest thing and it's only 50 cents. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'll probably end up keeping this and adding it to my collection. I got quite a little collection of the, um, the brass uh, animals going on. Okay. Then I got this really pretty fish bowl here. It's cobalt blue for a dollar. Um, the cobalt blue glass sells really well. So I'll probably put this in my booth, probably for about 12 bucks. And one more book. I didn't look this one up either. Uh, this one's called Strong's Ex Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. So um, I've always done well selling Bibles in the past. I didn't look this one up, but if it's not worth the time, I'll just put it in the antique booth. I sell books there too. And another Coca-Cola tin. Uh, for 50 cents. So, I'll fit $10 on that for the booth. And this is my bag that I got at the jewelry table, which wasn't a lot. All of it was pretty new. Like, there wasn't a lot of vintage looking stuff, but I did pick up this uh, gold tone little bee here, and that was $1. So, I don't know. I might craft with this. I really like this one. Yep, and this is going to be the last item, y'all. Uh, and this little box is this really neat, and I paid $2.50 for this. I think it's like a paperweight, like a little, I don't know, like a hologram. There's a turtle there at the top, and then down below, there's some little fishies. There's the price tag I paid $2.50, but I just thought it was really interesting. So um, look at those colors. That's really neat. So I don't know. Um, I'll have to do some research on this. I might put this on eBay. So that is my haul, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my um, ride-along video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh, and Yal says bye, too. I still got Yal over there. He never sold. Bye, y'all.